So I'm checking out the uh, weekend's uh, hotfix, the latest update for SCUM. It's uh, still not 0 0.5, but we're told that, um, or rather the, the buzz, or the rumor mill, is that um, we'll see it sometime in March. But what I wanted to check out was the camera exposure bug is supposed to be fixed, and it looks like it is. Um, well, the nighttime looks so much better. This is, uh, let's see, I'll set, set time 24. So, so this is midnight. The moon is still in the sky. But uh, I did want to point out something to the developers, and that is the light source is in a different direction than the moon. Um, it just looks a little weird is all. It's not, it's not a, you know, it's not going to end the show for me. It just uh, looks a little weird. But, um, but the cam camera exposure bug does appear to be fixed. See, if I look at something light, it doesn't get brighter. Um, and if I look at something dark, it doesn't get darker. Um, you know, our eyes are supposed to be able to adjust to what they're looking at. Now, maybe if you look at something bright, it should get... the dark things that are still visible should get darker. And it looks like that might be happening. But then, when you look at something dark, the bright things should get brighter. Let me see if I can... And it looks like that might be happening. If it is, it's it's a very faint effect, and that's that's okay. What wasn't okay is when you'd look at something dark, and it was like you got instant cataracts in your eyes, and it became even harder to see. So, uh... So this is the safe house, the trading post at, on the Yard 13 server. It's now a safe zone up in the northeast corner of the map. Uh, it's called, uh, let's see if the name is here, Fort Old Corner. And hopefully it doesn't get wiped when the uh, 0 0.5 update happens. No, I don't want to fill. I want to drink. So. No, I want to drink. There we go. I definitely don't want to destroy the well. Why that's the first selection in the menu, I don't know. <laughs> but I guess they said that um, the game will ask you if you really want to destroy the object or not. But still, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies when destroying something that's a valuable asset is so easily accessed in the menu. And that, that comes from my days um, going back to Electronic Arts SEAL Team when I had satchel charges on one of my SEALs and I'm scrolling through the weapons menu and I selected the satchel charge accidentally quickly because I was pinned down in a firefight. And in that game, when you were pinned down, it forced you to stay down. And... Uh, so I'm trying to scroll through my weapons to save my ass and accidentally chose the satchel charge and also accidentally 
like uh, set the timer. So then the game's got me forcefully pinned to the ground, and there's a satchel charge now planted underneath my body, and it's ticking away. So yeah, I'm not I'm not cool with things like hand grenades and satchel charges that require very deliberate actions to to get them going, to to arm them or to employ them. I'm not cool with them being so easy to access in a menu and like destroying a well. You know, okay if there's a if there's a double check, but I don't know if you've ever done, done it, where you become so familiar with a menu that you just kind of, you're on autopilot and you start automatically clicking things because you've seen a, like a, a menu item or a text box so many times. And uh, so even if it asks you if you want to destroy the well, you could accidentally click destroy well and then quickly click yes because you think the yes is in reference to something else and then you've destroyed your asset which you know I'm admin on this server so it's not going to be difficult to build another well but for another player that could be a real setback anyway this looks great I'm glad that camera exposure bug is fixed um, let's see, I can try 2 o'clock, it gets a little brighter. I love when you can, with the full moon, you can see things pretty well, which is realistic. There's that, that white frost you're seeing, that's just the, uh, limits of the base here. And then set time three. Did I already do that? Set time four. So there are four in the morning and it's almost daylight already. So there's a and I think set time uh, nine, uh, not nine, um, uh, 12 plus nine would be 21. Yeah, so it's, it's just beginning to be sunset at 9 p.m. So that gives you like four, or no, seven hours of, of nighttime, if not eight, no, six, if not six, um, I might want to change my server settings, but uh, in more Arctic climates, which, um, you know, Croatia, I don't think is an Arctic climate, but, uh, in, in closer to the North Pole, in the middle of winter, the nights are much longer. If I could cover this whole map in snow, which would be cool, I, I could set, uh, the night time so that it took up much more of the day. So, but I'm just starting to play, so I'm going to set time 7. Wow, so bright, even at 7 in the morning. But look at that, look how beautiful. I mean, it's like the, the colors are more vibrant now. Maybe it's just my imagination. And then... I don't remember if this lens flare was as pronounced before, but it's it's looking pretty good. Uh, I just love this game, man. I'm a long-time Arma fan, but my character in this game feels so much more alive. And I don't know, it might be the same way in DayZ, but I tried DayZ and I wasn't impressed because the armor engine is is pretty clunky when it comes to like animations. 
and uh, the zombies just kind of looked a little glitchy and ridiculous to me, and the like melee combat was pretty garbage in Arma. When, when it was the DayZ mod, I don't know what DayZ is like now. Like, I guess there's like a standalone version of DayZ that maybe is better. But the DayZ mod, uh, I found it very difficult and too, um, I just tried it and I didn't like it and or I didn't really get into it. But this game, I tried it and I got ho I got hooked because of just the survival, the the depths of the survival experience in this game are. Um, they seem to me to be, from what I've seen, unmatched in a first-person shooter. So, and if you want to play on this server, because I've, um, I've got the settings to where I think they're ideal. Uh, this server has 15 player slots, so, and, you know, it's doubtful that you're going to find that the server is full. Uh, initially, I attracted players to the server because uh, apparently they thought that this was a PvE server. And it's it's not just PvE. It's, I mean, it um, it's noob-friendly. It's friendly to beginners and novices and people just learning the game. But uh, it's not PvE only. Um, players can kill each other on this server because... Why would I want to limit that? Because there there are no gun-toting AI in this game yet, so only players provide that kind of experience. And um, when I've been on official servers, and the way I play, which is very kind of low-key stealth, when I've encountered other players, it just uh, raises the hair on the back of my uh, neck and, um, you know, gives me the chills and the goosebumps. It's very, it's pretty scary because you've invested so much in this character um, that you don't want to lose it all. And, uh, and you know that facing another player, you could very quickly lose it all. So, why would I want to eliminate that on my own server? I wouldn't, you know, so... The, the PvP aspect is still allowed on this server. Um, now, we try to be cooperative and friendly to other players because you stand a better chance of surviving you know, if you can cooperate with other people, um, you know, provided they're trustworthy. But, uh, but if a squad wants to form on this server and they want to kill other players, you know, that's what respawning is for. So respawns are allowed on this server. You can make a base, respawn back at your shelter, um, you can respawn in a sector and, uh, you know, get back to your gear pretty quickly if you want. Um, so, I don't, I don't think, like, uh, PvP should be limited. But there is this safe zone in uh, D1 in the upper left in the northeast corner of the map where the, the prison walls meet and uh, you can get free gear here you can also buy some gear if it's in stock um, you can get missions here 
You can also get uh, missions in the other safe zones, like this one at A3, the one in C4, um, where the other one go, the one in uh, C2 here, I guess. Um, there are signs there, or should they should still be there, with clues to uh, places where you can like um, find some unusual gear. Uh, but there will usually be a challenge associated with finding or acquiring that gear. So, um, just because you have the clue, that doesn't mean you've got the gear. You have to go earn it. But, uh, and I started doing that, putting these kind of Easter eggs across the map, because um, I... As kind of as a reaction not only to the increased difficulty of getting gear in lockers uh, both in like police stations and bunkers and uh, supply drops which is now fixed because you can use a crowbar and you can bust into lockers now so that's cool but uh, yeah I was reacting to that and I was also reacting to the fact that there are places on this map where players who are experienced are have become trained not to go or not to look because um, those areas just seem to be low loot areas or to not have anything of interest there and I want to change that thinking and help players realize that on this server in some of those seemingly low loot areas you may actually find some really great loot just because it's out of the way and players are not likely to go there so if you do some exploration you may find some of that good gear because I, I want players to experience this whole map because there's there's so much, uh, dare I say, beauty here, and uh, I hate it when developers um, go to the effort of creating a unique map like this, and then there are areas where players just never go. So... Um, Alright, so... Uh, let me check my metabolism real quick. I still need water some. And go get some more water. Oh, I meant to get rid of these things. This, sen this sends the wrong message. Uh, one of my friends likes to uh, create these things. And uh, Where's my axe? Let's take this. Why isn't it letting me... Why isn't it letting me destroy these things? Oh, because uh, it's in a safe zone? Huh. So I can't do any damage to it. Hmm. Uh, interesting. Okay. Well, whatever. You can always address that later on. The sign does say safe house and trading post, so that should shouldn't be too confusing. Um Alright, so uh, if you'd like to play on this server, um, let's see, what, what are some of the things I can tell you about it? Uh, one, it has a six months um, lifespan or longevity for blueprints. So if you start building something but you don't have all of the elements, um, it can, uh, it'll give you more time to finish what you're building. Um, 
also, I'm not sure, but I think that lends itself to more persistent constructions um, on the map. Uh, vehicles, I think, have a three month. Did I set it to 180? Anyway, vehicles have a long longevity before they despawn, so uh, you're more likely to find a vehicle that where the battery is drained, but uh, vehicles will will linger in a place longer. Uh, what else? Um, the day-night cycle is a little bit faster than 24 hours real-time because I don't want people who log in at the same time every night to always be playing at night or at day. You know, I want it to change a little bit each day. So, you know, if you play like, uh, like you, like I was doing, I was playing every night, eventually, you know, the time is going to change and you'll get to experience a different time of the day. Um, zombie damage, I think I set it to 0.6 uh, or 60% of normal. Um, player damage is a little elevated, so if you go up against a player, it's, you know, it's going to be more lethal. Um, let me see, I think, uh, examine spawns, like where you examine something, or you search something, um, that's set to a multiplier of five times normal, and then, um, uh, regular spawns where I think something's just lying on the ground, I think I've set that to like 1.8. Because I didn't want something to always be there, lying on the ground in a place. Um, let's see what else. Do 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 do. Oh, uh, no mechs. There are no mechs because uh, the way they are in the game currently, they're just like aimbots on god mode, and it just turns things into a stealth mission, and uh, I just don't dig it. So, if if the mechs were more like Generation Zero, I would probably have mechs in there, but they're not. Uh, 16 magazines of M16 ammo, landing all of that on a mech in order to destroy it. By the time you get into the bunker, you're never going to get, you know, uh, enough gear or ammo, at least, to pay off what it took to get in there. So, that's, that's God mode as far as I'm concerned. Um, drones, I've turned those off because while they, you know, give you the feeling of being in the game or in the prison... They're a little distracting, and right now I'm not seeing a whole lot of point in having them. It's, it's kind of a science fiction-y element that just um, doesn't add that much as, as far as I'm concerned. And um, See, the, the way I approach this game is I like the survival aspect. I like the... Uh, tactical first-person shooter uh, aspect of it. I I can I understand the premise of the game and the story and the lore, and I I think it's a great idea, um, but it doesn't. Um, it's not what drew me to the game. What drew me to the game is the level of simulation in the game. So, uh, to me, it's it's not... Anyway, so I, I don't see a reason for drones. Um, what else? Um, 
Well, I can't think of anything else right now, but... Uh, Uh, yeah, if you'd like to play on the server, um, you shouldn't uh, get bothered too much by griefers or cheaters, um, because there just aren't that many people playing on the server, and uh, it should be a good place for you to learn the game, and uh, if you need any help, you can always uh, contact me. On uh, Discord, I'm Tax Shooter uh, thirty four twenty seven, and uh, I'll be happy to show you around and share any hints. Um, okay, so thanks for watching.